Well, we saw a very warm and humid day across the Miami Valley. Definitely did not feel like it is October. We're looking out here live in uh, Greenville. You can see here at the edge of your screen, we do have a... Um wind vane going there and it was overall a breezy day with winds out of the southwest across parts of our northern area you may be impacted by some scattered showers and storms in the next couple of hours but most of the area has remained dry throughout the day this is all in advance of a cool front the front is actually going to stay poised to the north but we still may see some effects from the daytime heating today due to some showers and thunderstorms you can see a couple of storms have recently popped up just to the south of salina and to the west of sydney there is a potential here as we continue to go through uh, sundown, a couple of these storms could produce some gusty winds as well as some very heavy downpours. The cold front moving across parts of northern Indiana, it's basically going to stall out to our north, but like I said, some of these storms may roll through because the atmosphere is somewhat unstable because it's been so warm and so humid across the area today. In fact, as we take a look here at temperatures across the region, we have been well into the 80s, but behind the front, temperatures are in the 40s and 50s. That air is not going to reach us until later in the week. Right now, though, outside, it's still pretty uncomfortable for this time of the year. 84 degrees, southwest winds at 15 miles an hour, and the humidity is at 56%. So overall, it's been a very warm and humid day with temperatures in the middle 80s, upper 80s in a few locations, such as in Miamisburg, where it's 88, 83 right now in Fairborn. Now, like I said, this is somewhat unusual for this time of the year. Today, and that should say October, not September up there, today we saw a high of 86, which is 18 degrees above our normal high. The normal high is 67, which was closer to our morning low of 69 degrees. So your weather headlines for tonight. Tonight actually could be the warmest low on record. The record for tonight for the warmest low is 66, set back in 1931. On Sunday, there's still a chance of an afternoon shower or storm, and we are going to continue with this warmth for the next several days. Tonight, temperatures in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees, and that could also, like I said, become a, a record overnight. And if you're going to Kings Island tonight for the Halloween haunt, it's going to be very warm. Temperatures well into the 70s. Future track over the next 24 hours showing that we'll see a lot of scattered clouds mixing in with some sunshine, and again, a pop-up shower or storm is possible again on Sunday. Better chances will be for areas to our north. The Bengals are playing tomorrow with the Dolphins. It should be around 85 degrees for the kickoff, and it'll continue to warm up during the afternoon. And if you don't like this humidity, unfortunately, you're going to have to deal with it for a couple more days through Wednesday when we'll see that uh, a cold front come through and dry us out a little bit. We will have partly cloudy skies tonight over light low of 68 degrees and tomorrow 86 warm and humid with a chance of an afternoon shower or storm. Many locations will not see that, but the heat and humidity continue through Wednesday. Then we'll see a cold front come through Wednesday night into Thursday. That will bring in lower humidity and much cooler temperatures. Boy, look at that one week drop. 30 degree difference from yes. this Saturday to next Saturday. Yes. All right, that'll feel like college football weather. <laughs> yeah, you're